winning the district 92 best speech for interstate speech contest congrats thank to you. you thank you my first question to you is after you won you picked up on shoulders of four people at least <laughs> yeah to take it to the stage yeah how was your feeling that time okay so um i did not expect it to happen so firstly <laughs> Uh, what happened was that the two p places were announced and then uh, I was really sad that okay now I'm not getting anything <laughs> Then suddenly my name gets announced and I see Alap sir jumping So we all were like started jumping together I was just going towards the stage and then suddenly see oh I'm floating and Then I noticed there were people underneath me and there were everybody running around So it was it was this great feeling and there were two people who were crying So one was from my club other was a guy I, I should not mention otherwise I get beaten up <laughs> So it was a very good feeling. Even I got a pretty pretty overwhelmed, but then I had to control it because you do not want to get you know crying picture on the stage. So it, it, it was it was very very different than what I had ever experienced. So great great feeling. Seven hundred people, you're there. Great feeling. Okay. So the big question now: What's next? What's planned next for you? Uh, okay. So according to the competition. They have this next round, which will be the regional quarterfinals. So they'll be taking my video, which they've shot on that day, like with, with the crowd reactions, with everything, and they'll be sending it to the TMI. Mm -hmm. And they'll be choosing like 14 people out of um, all the districts for the very finals. So let's hope for the best there. Meanwhile, I'll be preparing a few more things just for, just to be more prepared towards the finals. Okay. So this, I have a list of questions which were sent by all the PR team members. Yeah. So I'll ask some of the, those questions to you. Why Toastmasters? Okay, so um, I have never been a speaker as such. So I needed a platform where people were not basically, you know, bashing each other. That's why I did not, we never wanted to go for a debate. And then um, one of my friends told me about Toastmasters that it's a very open platform. Like, uh, you know, in Delhi, we have clubs where they have poem recitations in Toastmasters. Mm -hmm. In uh, Bangalore itself, we have clubs where they have like, they allow theat like complete theatrical plays in Toastmasters. Mm -hmm. So it's a very open stage. I really like the idea of it. So I was like, okay, let's join it. And the first meeting I still remember, I said something which was not so good, but still people had to applaud it. So that, that, that just kind of boosts your confidence. That's why Toastmasters. And so you had, this has been six months you didn't, since you joined Toastmasters, yeah. right? So how is your overall experience about the feeling you get here? I'll literally take it to the community. I've never seen people so supportive in any organization. Like, you know, every time when once you finish a speech, there'll be so many people coming to you, you perform well, but you can even improve there. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and they're like genuine feedbacks. This is not like they're trying to diss me or trying to like uh, mar my confidence, even your opponents. Mm -hmm. One of my mentors, I was with him in the uh, division, so I was able to kind of uh, uh, you know, win that day. But then I went to him because I was I did not know anything about stage. He was the one who taught me everything. So Alap said that. So just um, the community, which I love about Toastmasters, that they have this general feeling of okay, let's support each other instead of fighting. So that is one of the best things I've ever seen. Okay. Pause it now. You'll see this coming right or not? Okay. Who called? Someone called. So let us talk about the preparation. I am pretty sure it took a lot of hours, lot of times, rehearsals. So just go through your preparation. How was it? Um, so till division, it was basic stuff. Like I used to just have the same speech more or less. We were just doing the same stuff. Then division happened and I got my first mentor. And then the whole thing just changed. So, so before your speech, before the division speech, there was no mentor. There was no mentor, so okay. I just had a speech. I think I just I, I still say I'm very lucky that I got there. But after division, the real uh, hard work started happening. So we we added props, we divided the stage. There was like voice modulation going on. There was hours and hours of practice. So one of the things which really helped me was performing in multiple clubs because that gives you a sense of okay, this joke works, this joke doesn't work, and how to continue with your speech when nothing is working out. So I've had clubs where everybody was just silent. Like, was he, why is this guy doing that? So even that, those experiences are very important. And second thing is record yourself and listen to you back to you. Because many times when you're on stage, you're seeing very things very fast. But when you listen, you understand that, oh, I needed to pause. <laughs> so that's very important. You need to practice in front of mirror, but much more, much better is just record a video and start doing it again. Okay. So your advice to the Toastmasters who aspire to become like you. 
the intentional speech, public speaking campaigns? Any advice you want to give? Uh, okay, so one is uh, just remember this one thing that no speech is bad. We uh, we had this speech, especially that there was a semi final speech uh, given by Sakib. Uh, so that speech mm-hmm. in semi final something was working, but something just seemed missing. In finals, nobody was able to till now recognize that what he had changed, but it became so funny. It became so so impactful. And that was the moment I realized, you know, any speech, if you do it enough times, if you make enough changes, it has the potential. So don't give up on anything. Mm -hmm. If you have a concept, you think you can believe in that, go with it. It will work out. And uh, second thing is get a mentor. It's very important to get somebody who has done it for years. And if they're saying something, and even if you think that you cannot do it, just do it on stage. It works. They have this experience, the experience works. So as you said, you also had to go out to go to different clubs yeah. and tell the same speech again and again. Yeah. So what's the message of encouragement to the Toastmasters who want to step out of the clubs and try the material somewhere outside? Okay, so uh, just contact the clubs. Firstly, you can just reach out. You can uh, call the president because the, the Toastmasters community is really very well connected. Mm-hmm. So if you go to any conference, you meet 50 people, you can literally call them up. They will pick up the phone call. They will ensure that maybe not in the next meeting, but next to next meeting, you'll, you're getting a slot. So just reach out. Everybody is helpful here that I've seen and that I'm very confirmed about. And just when you go there, just be, just have that sense of gratitude that they've given you the speed spot, mm-hmm. recognize the audience, meet everybody around so that you just build this whole community. So you can just go around, test with different people. You'll know a lot of people. That's a whole new experience. Okay. Since this re- speech was repeated multiple times. Yeah. So what kept you motivated and the energy kept on higher and higher, becoming higher and higher. So what was the motivation you got to continue the same level? Okay. So, uh, like. When, when I started the first speech at the club level, it had some elements which I, but when I went on the stage, I do not remember what mm-hmm. I said. Okay. It just went away. Mm-hmm. I, I, got, I won some, somehow that day. Then area happened. Now I could feel the different parts of my speech I made a few tweaks. So each and every level, something was changing. The biggest change was between division and district semifinals. It was like the whole positioning was happening. So I was most excited. Then after division semifinals, I was like, oh, I've hit the plateau. I'm not doing the same speech again. Then uh, Alap came to me and he was like, I'll tell you what you have done wrong. And there was this whole sense of things which you had to change after that. So it's just that that whatever you do, you think you have done good. There's a lot of scope of improvement, which you've not seen till now. Mm -hmm. So you just keep improving those tweaks and over time, because you have to improve something. If you keep it exactly the same, you'll definitely get bored out of it. Try out new stuff. If you, if you were afraid to do something, just try it out in the same speech because you know, everything else works. Let's, let's make that five seconds, six seconds count. So since you still are new to the Toastmasters fraternity, what is the one defining moment which you made, which made you think that, okay, this is my calling. This is the right thing I'm doing. This is my passion. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. So, um, yeah. So one defining moment, um, um, how do I say uh, so this defining moment happened much before the contest began so we were having table topics I was a guest in my club then mm-hmm. uh, like um, uh, so we were just trying some just few, few stuff and then this guy came to the main thing and his topic was what are the three wishes which you want in life until that time I was that speaker who's like oh you have to make that difference you have to be so impactful that people just get blown away they get thrown out of their chairs Mm -hmm. so I was thinking all things that do you really need wishes in your life you can go there get stuff and all that that guy comes and he says my first wish is that I want to wake up early my second wish is I want to lose weight third wish is I want to look like Hrithik Roshan (laughs) and everybody's laughing and at that moment I realized hair every every you know you don't have to be correct You just have to be your true self. And that was the moment I decided, okay, I'm going to do this. So that moment, I want to be Ritik Roshan. I was like, yeah, this is it. Okay. So I talked about the practice uh, methodology. Uh, How do you sharpen your saw? How do you practice? Um, So first is write a script. Mm -hmm. Uh, Just uh, my, my thing is that when I write it, it's very rough. I do not write the complete speech down. I first like get it, uh, record a one whole thing. I see that, okay, a few parts work, mm-hmm. then start tweaking it. 
at one point you'll reach a level you're like okay this might work go and give it somewhere you'll know that which part seriously work which part don't then again start working on it okay so over like that's the thing that you have to give it multiple times at multiple places only then something will work it's very difficult to just come up with something and oh it works okay mm, that is over now okay this probably the last question since you already recorded the speech and it has probably gone to the next level so what are your hopes and what are your wishes to do next uh hope is that i am one of the 14 <laughs> you know uh, i'm a young guy i love america i've never been there <laughs> i want to be there so fully it's it's like they'll, they'll be paying my flights so I'm, i'm more than happy to go to america and um i really hope that if i go there uh i was told that there has never been a champion from india till now i, I yeah, don't know whether that's it's, right. it's yeah. correct so i don't know it's still hoping too early but i'm ready to put in everything to just give this uh, district to give our country at least something so that is what i hope for that i'm i'm just going to give the go there give my best because there's going to be a huge audience yes at least let's use it if i get that opportunity let's make a difference okay all the best to you thank keep you keep working hard and thank keep inspiring others thank, thank you so much thank you abhinav